And I know you have the same thing in Canada. You've got some of those pugilists that are saying, I can't believe they would have Pee Wees playing cross ice hockey or 10 years playing cross ice hockey. Like I'm telling you as a guy who never got to play that, I wished that I could play cross ice hockey because I see the guys coming out. I'm coaching 16 U here right now. And I go out as a coach court and I got to visit all the teams. I watch our 12 years and 10 years and eight years. And I'm thinking I'm, got to hang on for a few more years because I want these kids when they come up they're so skilled yeah because they, they've always got a puck on their stick and and the other thing ADM does is it, it puts the kids together by ability not so much by age at 8U it used to be 8U first year second year and you go all the way down to 5U now they put them together by ability and we we had a program in at my rink in Montana where where I was with Tampa so I was on the road a lot my wife calls me. She goes, your daughter wants to quit hockey. I said, why? She goes, well, you got to ask her. She comes off the ice crying all the time. And she's not really much of a crier. And I saw I went out on the ice. Well, I watched, I watched it a couple times, what they were doing. And when they would scrimmage, sure, it was cross ice. One kid would have the puck and would go through all the kids and everyone would chase them around. They never got to touch the puck. The so, the simple fix, so the simple fix, what do you do? Throw five pucks out there. That was the simple fix. Then we throw soccer balls out there, and we throw other things out there. We we have games where there's multiple touches, or you have to pass the puck before you can make a play. So everyone gets involved in the game, and that's that's where you start build building those players. Like we have a slogan.